Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video on the Project Auto YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And in today's upload, we have yet another vehicle in the shop. This is our 2018 Dodge Challenger. Um, no, nothing is wrong with this one either, but it is due for its oil change. So, like I showed you how to do it on the Mazda, today we're going to show you how to change the oil on a 2018 Dodge Challenger GT all-wheel drive with the v6 so without further ado let's get started all right so as with before with the mazda um changing the oil on your car um, is pretty simple and fairly similar across the board uh, with each vehicle maybe having slight differences um, and one of those differences with this car compared to the mazda is the uh, oil filter is not your traditional uh, screw-on oil filter that you're used to having underneath the vehicle. Um, in this case, it is up top here, and it is that housing right there. So that's our oil filter. So that's the difference in this car. We'll have to take the oil filter off from the top. I hate that design. Um, you get it's messy. It's I, I don't like it. So, um, but we're going to start with uh, draining the oil from underneath like we did in the Mazda. So, um, we need to pull our dipstick up just a hair and then also loosen our oil cap. And we'll just leave that on there just like that. Um, that'll keep dirt from getting in there. But, like I said, it'll allow air to come in and drain that oil a little bit faster. So, let's get underneath the car. All right, so we are now underneath the car. Um, now, in this case, um, in the Mazda, we had that big uh, plastic cover uh, that covered the underside of the engine bay. Um, in this case, we do not have that, so no extra steps there. All we have to do under here is we need to find the oil pan. There it is, and there is the drain bolt there. Um, in this case, it's a 13 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and crack that loose, and then we will get our drain pan under here and drain the oil. Okie dokie, so that is draining. So we're going to let that drain for a few minutes, get that oil out of there, and uh, we'll be ready to move on to the next step. All right, so in order to remove the oil filter, you're going to need a 15 sixteenths uh, socket. Um, if you have an extension, it would probably make it just a touch easier, uh, but we don't have um, an extension at the moment, so we're going to have to make do with what we got, just like that. So we've got her loose. You may get a little bit of residual oil, so just keep that in mind. And once you get that loose, go ahead and get it the rest of the way by hand. And then you'll be able to pick it up. Now you will have uh, oil uh, dripping. So uh, I'm going to get some paper towels and uh, pull this the rest of the way out. All right. So there is our oil filter. We've got it out. And we've got our new one over here in the box. We're going to go ahead and get this replaced. And I should mention that to get this separated from that, just give it a good little tug. And uh, it'll pop right out because it just sits right down there over top of that little nipple. So just give it a good tug and it'll come right out. All right, so there is our new oil filter, K&N. Um, the oil filter does come with this uh, rubber O-ring in the box. Now what this is for um, is the rubber O-ring that's on here. So this replaces this. So you'll want to get a little pick tool um, and pull that right off of there. And I think I have one. So you'll want to get a little pick tool like this and just carefully pull that old uh, rubber o-ring off of there and then we're going to put the new one on okay so just like that we've got the old one off um, we've got the new one on there just make sure it's seated on there properly um, all the way around make sure it's not pinched or has any breaks in it um, if it does don't use it you want to get another one because uh, it will leak but in this case we are good so now all we have to do is just insert our oil filter and like i said i'm trying to do this one-handed so um, it's not very easy but um you can see that little nipple in there that just pops right over top of that. Um, you'll hear a click and it is in place. And then just like that, the oil filter is in, give it a good wiggle, make sure it's not gonna fall out. We're gonna get oil everywhere, uh, but it's popped in. So now all we're gonna do is reinstall 
all down into here. I had to turn my light on. Start it by hand. And then once you get it tight enough by hand, you'll take your socket and just snug her down. All right, just like that, she's down in there and seated and we are good to go. So now all we're gonna do is put the drain plug back in um, underneath the car and fill her up with oil. All right, just like that, everything's back together, full of uh, fresh oil, new uh, filter, everything's good to go, no leaks. So that's how you change the oil on a 2018 Dodge Challenger GT with the V6. A lot of the Dodge V6s have, um, if not all of them, have the oil filter on the top just like that um, but not too bad easy peasy so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to please subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye